As long as I stick to the plan, I'm in good hands. As long as I stick to the plan, I'm gonna run up them bands. You dig what I'm saying? You may be asking why I'm eating a bowl of cereal, which is a fair question, unless you knew what type of cereal I was eating. Honey Nut Cheerios, the giant size. I'm not gonna lie to you, but there was a zombie apocalypse and people started looting stores, things of that nature. I'm stealing me all the boxes of Cheerios, off rip. I'm a little low energy today, I can't lie. I'm, I'm very low energy today. I went into the gym, I really wasn't feeling it, but I just did all the exercises and just tried to go as hard as I could, but the energy's just not there, bro. I'm just not in a good mood today. I'm really just not in a good mood today. I haven't been in a good mood in the past two days. But, you know, I'm like, well, fuck it. I still got some content I need to make. So I got a bunch of packages that I need to open, some stuff from TikTok shop, and then a few PR items. I've been waiting on these packages for quite some time. And now that they're all here, I'm gonna open them all up at once so all of you guys can see them or guys and girls I, I really don't even know my demographic for real i probably should check on that but anyway let's open these packages up all right these are all the packages um it's a total of six packages um i'm excited for three these three and less excited for these three and actually this is an air fryer and i'm going to be giving it away i was going to give it away to a friend of mine but um she doesn't seem too enthusiastic on receiving it so i'll probably just give it to one of y'all to be honest now that I think about it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open them up. Which one am I open up first? Um, let's open up this one first. Yeah. All right. Wow, that's very secure. Oh, this is a Husk Japan Chef's Knife Series Premium Japanese Steel. I have to do a TikTok shop video for this. I was excited. I'm actually, I actually am excited for this. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all close up. Super excited for this. Good little packaging. Oh yeah, let's open it. Let me see. I should have put my 30 mil on here. Honestly, I think that's what I'll do. Let me put my 30 mil on my camera so y'all can see a little bit better. Hold on. BRB. Okay, cool. That that should work. I had to back y'all up some and y'all are up against my kitchen wall. And if I put the camera this way, the lighting is so terrible and there's overhead lighting right here. So I had to put y'all facing the living room area inside of the kitchen. So yeah, we got this. Let's go ahead and bust this open. We'll just throw this on the floor. Oh, wow. Damn, this shit's heavy. Hold on. Is this like... Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Why is it wet? What the hell? Is that lube? Oh, shit. Let's see if it can cut my hair. Oh, shit. Damn. They put some type of lubricant on it. Hold on, peep this. Sheesh, this should have sliced somebody up real quick. Damn. Look at that blade. Look how, look how sharp that is. Look how sharp that is, bro. Wow, this <laughs> this is uh this is a this is the real deal, bro. Japanese steel. Damn. I want to cut something, but I don't have anything to cut. I have like some bananas, but that's obviously going to cut it. Let's uh Damn. Yeah, I don't have anything to cut, bro. Should I cut a tennis ball? No, I'm not going to do that. But shit, this is cool. This is cool. Hmm. This is very cool. 
Damn. What a... <laughs> Damn, that shit just sliced down the, the box. I don't want to mess up the box, though. Let me just put this back in the packaging. We're going to play with this later. y'all. If y'all have any ideas that... Um, if y'all have any ideas, things y'all want to see me cut with this... I mean, obviously it's for food items, but I mean, hell, it's Japanese steel, so, you know, y'all, and this is real deal. This shit's heavy. It got some weight to it, too, so y'all let me know, you know, what you want to see me cut this with, or cut, wait, y'all let me know the items y'all want to see me attempt to cut using this knife. All right, anyway. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I have to do a TikTok shop video about this, but this is something that I, I like this. I actually like this. Next up, I think this is a mini karaoke machine, if I'm not mistaken. I was supposed to do a TikTok shop video for this, but the days that I, were going, I was planning on to do it, I, uh, I lost power. And I didn't get it out of the, uh, the mail room until like I had like six days left to film it. And I was like, okay, I'll just do it this weekend. And then Wednesday hit or Thursday hit. And then I lost power and I didn't get power back until Sunday. And then I lost, uh, it got canceled for me to gain commission on it on Sunday. So I was like, all right, fuck it. Um, I guess I'll keep it. Or I might just sell it or just give it away. I mean, I got it for free. So, I mean, yeah, but this is a portable karaoke machine with dual microphone, a Model D7 T. Let me show you how it is. Should I open it? You know, some slight, some slight. This little ass. What the hell? Okay. This is this is this is good quality. This is good quality. If this is a Bluetooth speaker, is it a Bluetooth speaker? It's just a karaoke machine. Damn, they should have made it as like a double, they should have doubled it as a, a Bluetooth speaker. And it comes with two microphones. The micro, the microphones feel cheap as fuck. I mean, I guess this is cool. I'm not really gonna, I don't wanna use it. Yeah, let, let's just attempt it. Turn it on. Oh, y'all heard that noise? Peep this. Hey, UX mode. Microphone connected. Oh, it's Bluetooth. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey. Uh, 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 uh. Damn. I should have opened this as soon as I got it. Like, when I got it, I should have opened it. It was just sitting in the corner of my crib and I was just going to wait to open it for the weekend, but damn, that's crazy. That's crazy, bro, because this is actually pretty cool. I could have just damn plugged it up and started freestyling in it, you know what I'm saying, talking shit, made a quick video for a TikTok shop, and then boom, the shit would have went up. Damn. I'm over here thinking this is going to be some trash. Damn. What does this do? Original voice mode. Original voice. Oh, shit. This is my original voice. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Wake your bitch ass up, nigga! I'm gonna have to keep this. I mean, I'm gonna have to just bust it out of a function or something, but damn, this is, I, I fuck with this. I like this right here. I definitely should have did a video for this. I could have made some records. Mic drop. <laughs> Okay, never mind. We're turning it off. All right. Okay, those are two items open. Trash. Trash on the floor. And here we got an air fryer. We got another Kosori or Kosori air fryer. I already have one, a big one. This is the mini one. This is the mini one. If you want this air fryer, all I need you to do is like, comment, and subscribe. That's all I need you to do. And then DM me on Instagram. Uh, yo, give me the air fryer. And then I guess I'll pick <laughs> somebody out of raffle who wants the air fryer. No, real shit, I, I am going to give this away. Whether it's to one of my homegirls 
or somebody I know or just somebody random. But I guess I'll just give this away because they canceled this shit too. <laughs> All right. Um, but my TikTok shop account is still in healthy standing. So I, I imagine, you know, uh, they cancel orders and shit like that all the time. They should have just gave me another day and I would have did it. But anyway. Hope there's another box in here. Ah, uh, there's not another box in here. Let's see. Shout out to Kasori. Y'all can't see that. Okay, it's blown out. That's cool. I guess we can pull it out. All right. This is what we're going to do. Good air fryer. Good mini air fryer. Damn. Well, I really don't need to take this out the packaging. Y'all know what an air fryer looks like. I mean, shit, I'll just show y'all the one I got. Well, this one's a mini one, so same brand. Yeah, y'all let me know if y'all want the air fryer though. I'm gonna give it away. All right, what's next? Damn, did I leak my address? I don't know. If I did, I'll just look back and see, but uh, fuck that air fryer, man. Y'all let me know if y'all want it. <clears throat> and this is from Beard Club. Oh, I know how they do their packaging. They didn't send me some stuff before. You know what I was about to do? I was about to take all this, this, this cut up cardboard shit and just throw it up in the sky or just throw it up. But then I realized how difficult it'd be to clean it up. So I'm not going to do that. Um, I feel like I have a code with Beard Club. I'm not sure. I definitely get commissions off of Beard Club. So this could be an opportunity for me to uh, promote them. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put it in the description to this video. I'll just do that. If there is one, I'll just put it in the description. Um, but they sent me some beard shampoo. I'm gonna show y'all close up in a minute. Um, some beard growth oil. Looks like they did a little bit of rebranding on their packaging and shit compared to the stuff I have now. I actually picked these things. Um, so the hydrating shampoo, the growth oil, and a pick, because I already had a brush. Fresh out the box. And what's crazy is I'm actually going to be cutting my beard today. <laughs> I'm cutting it off today. I don't know how, how they'll sit with me not having no beard, but... Oh well. You know what I'm saying? That's for another YouTube video. I'm, I'm cutting it for a whole another YouTube video. This wasn't even supposed to be a video. Me unboxing all this shit wasn't even supposed to be a video, but it is now. So let me show y'all a close up of this stuff. The growth oil. It's not the strawberry mint hair growth oil. Fuck that shit. That shit don't work. Get the beer club growth oil. Hydrating beard shampoo and the pine scent. Yes, sir. And then we got a yellow pick with a little B on it for beer club. Shout out the beer club. Shout out to the, to the people at beer club. You know what's crazy, bro? You know what's crazy? I don't know if they'll ever see this video. I really, I really don't know. And like, this isn't a paid collab or anything, but let me just tell you, I don't know if this is like against the, I didn't sign no contracts for, for a beer club. So I can really say whatever the fuck I want. <clears throat> I'm assuming. <laughs> I mean, shit, if you don't pay me, then I'll say whatever I want. Anyway, so back early, like real quick story time, back earlier last year, um, after I moved back home and I started growing my social media is a lot more like I, I started to blow up again um, while well, I was focusing on Instagram. I was focusing on Instagram, took my Instagram from like 6K, I mean, no, like 3K to like 10K in the matter of like two weeks. Um, ultimately, towards the end of the year, I got it all the way up to I hit 100K last year and then earlier this year. We got up to, no, I think I got up to 120, it was like 122K, but I've lost followers since then. But anyway, 
unnecessary yap. When I was growing my Instagram and I was at 700K on TikTok at the point in time, they had reached out to me. Because somebody had sent a video that they had posted on their page using my sound. At this time, I was doing this thing on TikTok. I was like, uh, day one or day two, I was like, it was like day five of uh, creating sounds to go viral or some shit like that. That was, that, that was what I was doing. And one of the sounds they used to promote their product. So I went in the comments and I was like, damn, y'all ain't even reach out to the creator of a sound. And I have a phenomenal beard. You know what I'm saying? So it just made sense. So they ended up hitting me up and then wanting to send me some stuff and whatever the case. They didn't even want no video for it. You know what I'm saying? But then I had got on the call with one of the guys and uh, he was just asking me all these questions about my content, where I want to take my content, what type of creator, my audience and Things like that gave him some different demographics and things like that. But he was like, he pretty much gave me the energy like, well, we, we got to, um, we definitely want to see like you grow a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Like he, they weren't like, they weren't on board with it. Like they didn't see the vision yet. And I'm just like, damn nigga, like you ain't seen my TikTok. You ain't seen how many times I didn't went viral on my TikTok. And y'all use my sound to promote y'all shit. You, you, you not going to use me to promote it. But I'm like, all right, whatever. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Whole time I'm thinking I'm about to get a brand deal from them. Because they was like, we'll stay in contact with this and that. We'll get back to you. And this week I'm going I'm to give everything to my marketing team or whatnot. Um, send us your rate. Boom, boom, boom. So I sent them the rate. I sent them the rate. And never, I never heard anything back from them. Never heard anything back from them, bro. And the whole thing, I don't re really remember how the conversation went, but it was pretty much along the lines of like, I needed to grow more. And I, I remember telling him like, I mean, my account's growing super fast. Like I just went from this to this in this amount of time, you know what I'm saying? But I guess they weren't hearing it. Fast forward, six months later, not even six months later, it was like three and a half, four months after that, I hit 100K on the gram. Hit 100K on the gram and then hit a million on tick. And then by the end of the year, I hit 1.4 on tick. And it's just like, see, bro, y'all should have worked with me then. And then recently, how I, how I got these products here, I had sent a bunch of emails or uh, DMs to a bunch of brands uh, asking for their marketing team's email who i can get in contact with to possibly do a collaboration shit like that um and they were just on my list they were still on my list from the year prior so i went ahead sent them a dm and then they sent me the email and then I, they sent me the email i sent a message to the email as i did to the other brands and then they sent me this this link to join possibly join a creator program or whatever it's called and then that was, man, that was like shortly after I moved to Houston. That was damn near seven months ago, six months ago. Um, and then like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, they hit me and was like, hey, you're a part of the, the team now. We got, you can, you know, now they're trying to get on board, but they're not even trying to hit me with the brand deal, but it's just on some commission type stuff. But I'm like, shit, I have been growing my beard and I would love to get some free products because I know I'm going to promote it. You know what I'm saying? I, it wasn't like I didn't rock with their product or anything. It's just that they wasn't rocking with me at the time and didn't see the vision. And then I blew up on their ass. But anyway, y'all go fuck with Beard Club, man. They're, they're cool peoples over there. Business is business. I didn't take it personal. But anyway, trash. All right. Next thing. What's this? What is this? Oh shit. Oh shit. This is that uh seen this on TikTok shop. This is the Peach Slices Snail Rescue Intensive Wash Off Jelly Mask. Woo! This is the stuff like that I was seeing all the girls wearing. It was like or putting on. It was like this is how you get the glass skin, glass skin. 
And it's so crazy. I got to do a video for TikTok shop with this. But it's so crazy. Oh, let me show y'all a um, close up. I can't wait to use this. I'm actually excited to use this. I'm going to use it today. I can't wait to use it. All right. But yeah, I was actually just on TikTok shop looking through my, uh, my invites to do TikTok shop videos for it. And I had saw, damn. And I had saw this on there and it had thousands of great reviews and a lot of videos. Um, and I'm like, shit, I always wanted like one of those mask things. Like, I hope this shit doesn't fuck up my skin. But it's, I, I use snail mucin already. So this should be good. This should, this should be good. I can't wait to use this. Let me go ahead and take it. I hope it's double layered. It is double layered. Look at that. With a, with a, like a plastic top, not no little piece of paper. <laughs> Smells good. Nice, bro. Nice. Okay. Trash. All right. Next up, we got a big ass air purifier. This air purifier right here covers up 1900 square feet. 1900 square feet. I already have one that only covers 100 square feet. But this one, 1900 square feet. I seen this in my request or my invites. I said, shit, free, free air purifier, air purifier. I need it. 1900 square feet. I need it. Regular price, 200. I need it. All I got to do is make a video for it. Come on, bro. I should sell this motherfucker for real. Give me a quick sell it for a hundred. Hey, $200 air purifier. You need it. I sell it to you for a hundred brand new. Lord knows I need the cheese right now, bro. But we just signed with new management, so that's good. We'll see what they what they bring in for me. You know, being a full-time content creator is hard, bro, because you get lump sum payments here, here, and there. And then sometimes you don't get anything. And then you have to rely on those previous lump sum payments. And then the money just starts dwindling, dwindling, dwindling down. But as long as I stick to the plan... I'm a good man. <laughs> as long as I stick to the plan, I'm in good hands. As long as I stick to the plan, I'm a run up them bands. You dig what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and open this up because this is getting put straight to use. Damn, big ass air purifier. 1900 square feet, the Lavoit Vital 200 SP Smart air purifier. Need that. Need that. Let's go ahead and open it up, twin. Especially with Xena's ass in here and all this damn dust. Hell, it's gonna help her out too. With her allergies. Oh my gosh. Cause because I'm the type, I, you would never see me buying a $200 air purifier. Never. You will not see me just be like, you know what? Let me pop this air purifier for $200. You wouldn't see me do that, bro. The only way you see me do that, bro, I really have to just be up and just have a lot of disposable income because i'm the type of like man i don't need that shit i would love to have one but like i'm not spending 200 on it that 200 can go somewhere else you know what i'm saying like that could go towards some new camera equipment or something but 200 bro on an air purifier i'm not doing it and you shouldn't either that's why you should use my link for tiktok shop to go cop this shit this shit like 50 percent off a honey bun I know you like honey buns. I seen that stomach. I seen you trying to hide that stomach. You ain't, you ain't hiding it from nobody. You ain't hiding it from nobody. I know you like honey buns, so you might as well go ahead and run it up. Go cop you one. Mm-hmm. Man, what's this? Man. <laughs> what is this? We're going to take a guess as to what this is. A battery? I'm going to say a battery. Okay, uh, it's not a battery, but I mean, it's an adapter. It's the same shit. Trash. Trash. Bro, this shit is huge, gang. Look how big this shit is, bro. 
1900 square feet. Oh, hell yeah, twin. Oh, hell yes. 1900 square feet, twin? Hold on, I'm about to break this hole. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Trash. How I take the filter out though. There's gotta be something down here. Wouldn't that be some sh I thought Zena was throwing up. Wouldn't that be some shit if I broke it? Be it. Yup. I could have looked at the instructions, but no. Big ass filter, boy. Yo, this is like Christmas for me, bro. Am I tripping? It wasn't sitting like that, was it? Nah, it wasn't sitting like that. Oh, it was underneath. Oh man, I'm excited. I'm so excited, so excited. Oh yeah, we in business now. We are in business now. Look how big this shit is, dog. I can put this, I can put this mug anywhere in the crib. I can put it anywhere in the crib and it's gonna cover up. It's gonna cover the square footage anywhere I put it. I can put it in that corner. 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 And I can put it in that corner and it's still gonna cover up all 1900 square footage of this apartment. My apartment ain't even half of that. My apartment is 637 square feet. It's small. So it's going to double up of the air purification. Some slight, some light, real quick. Good breaths, good breathing capabilities. You know what I'm saying? Good lungs, good oxygen flow within my establishment. You know what I'm saying? I like that. What's this on the side? Outlet, inlet. We got the inlet and the outlet. What the fuck, son? This look foreign as hell. Outlet to what? I ain't never seen no outlet like that. Outlet and sensor lens. Repeat with the dry swab to finish. Clean the dust sensor every two months to maintain efficiency. Shit. Makes sense to me, twin. I can't believe companies just be sending products like this. Hey, we're going to send you this $200 product. We just need you to make a video. You got all type of creative freedom to make a video with it. You know what I'm saying? Shit crazy, bro. But I've always wanted an air purifier. And when I got mine, I was super excited and I put it in my room. Actually, I had it out here for a minute. Then I realized it was only 100 square feet. And I'm like, hmm, that's kind of ass. And then I saw this in my request, my invites, and I said I had to do it. I had to do it. But let's, let's, let's take a look at everything that we just got. And I say, hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I got that 30 mil on there. So y'all, look how big this shit is. This shit like a robot. Look like it's about to go beep boop. Sheesh, twin. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but all the other products, we got the snail rescue. We got the portable karaoke machine and we got the knife. Uh-huh. And then we got the beard club essentials that they pass down to the boy. You know what I'm saying? That's the end of the video, y'all. I really appreciate y'all tapping in and progressively seeing my mood get better. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's what all it takes. You don't be in the mood just to be in the mood. You don't be in the mood to just, to just be. You know what I'm saying? To exist. But sometimes you just have to face the things that you don't want to be in the mood for or you're not necessarily in the mood for and then all of a sudden you be in the mood for it you dig what i'm saying but anyway i appreciate y'all joining i appreciate y'all tapping in appreciate y'all watching you know what i'm saying i just appreciate y'all about the same thing three different ways oh yeah subscribe like the video and go ahead and comment let me know what type of videos y'all want to see I know a lot of people don't make it to the end of these videos. I know, I know a lot of people don't. I know a lot of people don't, but one day they will. A lot of people will. Just as many people who click the video, gonna be the same amount of people that finish the video and possibly restart the video because they're gonna love it that much. 
All right, so that's enough talking for me. Oh, also, y'all let me know if y'all uh, if y'all want that fucking air fryer. I will give that air fryer away. Y'all just DM me on Instagram or just say that y'all DM me on Instagram from here and then we'll deal with it that way. But anyway, appreciate y'all for watching. I'm out there, bit. That was very underwhelming. It's actually gonna be pretty easy for me to clean up. Yeah, that ain't gonna be too bad. All right. Real quick, I got some ASMR for y'all. I got these, uh, what do you call this, bubble wrap? But this is a different kind of bubble wrap, but peep, peep game. Snack, crackle, pop, Rice Krispies.